Hey, Andy here from builderhottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at my thoughts on Spartex 2023. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so Spartex, uh, for those of you that aren't familiar, is one of the largest wet leisure industry exhibitions over in Europe. And I had the pleasure this week of attending a couple of days, getting to meet some of the manufacturers, meet some suppliers, having a good chat and catch up with people in the industry. So in this video, I'm gonna summarize my thoughts on the show and certainly what I saw, what I found and, and some of the things that I heard on the grapevine, so to speak. Now, before we get going, always a great opportunity to say, please do subscribe to the channel hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I put two long form videos out every single week, whole bunch of shorts as well, loads of free content all around hot tubs, plunge pools, heat pumps, and everything in between. So please do subscribe, just gives me loads of motivation to keep making these videos. So I'm gonna start with a big thank you. Thank you to everybody that came over and said hello and you know, that you liked my videos, you'd see me on YouTube. All really welcome. It made me feel uh, really, really positive that uh, the videos that I make are having an impact, which is uh, which is really cool. So Spartex, as I've explained, is one of the largest wet leisure industry exhibitions over in Europe. So for me, I like to visit and attend, go and catch up with the manufacturers, see what's new, and, and really just kind of, you know, what can I add to my customer builds you know, with the latest technology and, and everything in between. So what's new in the industry? Well, unfortunately, not a great deal. And it was kind of the same last year when I attended the show as well. I, I kind of left thinking that, oh, well, maybe next year there'll be something new, something cool, something that's really innovative. And unfortunately, there, there isn't. Now, there's uh, the whole theme of the show this year was around conserving energy and you know, obviously consuming less, the running costs, everything else around that. So how can we you know, make things cheaper? So there was a whole an abundance of air source heat pumps. Everybody seems to have one. Everybody seems to be importing one. You know, they're not think new. As you know, on this channel, I talk about them a lot. I like air source heat pumps, but even the ones that were new weren't anything particularly different. I did find one that I do like, uh, the Vian Power, and I'll be doing a review on this channel of it very shortly. And I'll put a link underneath the video to my blog post on the Vian Power heat pumps, and they'll be available in a month or two, according to the supplier. Now, for me, I'm you know, less interested in the plastic shell tubs. So whilst I said there was nothing new, I know that there was quite a lot of the manufacturers were launching new models. Despite of the slowdown in the industry in general, there seems to be a lot of manufacturers with a lot of stock. They are still launching new products. Uh, but for me, as I said, I'm, I'm less interested in the plastic shell tubs because I'm more into the technology behind them so that we can design them into our DIY built tubs. There were a couple of notable absences from the show. So one of the larger manufacturers, Gecko, had decided not to exhibit this year, which is a shame because I do like catching up with the guys from Gecko. I went to see the guys over at Balboa. As you know, I'm a big Balboa fan. I have Balboa kit on my own tub. Uh, they have some uh, new topside controls. Firstly, behind me, they have the SpaTouch 4, which is a, a very nice unit. But the one that actually caught my eye was the SpaTouch Mini, and you can see that behind me. I'm definitely gonna be getting one of those for my own tub when they're available, again, in a few months' time, according to Balboa. Uh, it just looks really cool. It's very small, very compact. Love the little menu system and it could be a, a, a great addition, uh, certainly to my tub where I, I could do with some additional controls so I don't have to move around to, to turn things on, that kind of thing. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna get one. When I get one, I'll do a full review on it, but that was one of the notable things that, that I took away from the show was a new top side. So a little bit disappointing that that's all it was, but uh, for me, uh, I really like it and I can't wait to get my hands on one. In terms of pumps, there was a lot of talk at the show of pumps that were more efficient. Again, the whole theme of the show was around efficiency and how we can reduce the, the running costs of our swimming pools and, and our hot tubs. And certainly if you've got a swimming pool or a plunge pool, the 
pump will be running a lot more than it would if it would be on a hot tub. So you've got to look at the efficiency of that pump, so the current draw, that kind of thing. So there are quite a few new pumps that were super efficient and super quiet. So that was definitely something that was interesting. For me, the seminars and the presentations that are given at Spartex are really, really interesting. This year, I particularly enjoyed the ISPE presentations or seminars, and that's the Institute of Swimming Pool Engineers. There was a great talk on chemistry from Jimmy. There was a particularly informed presentation on pipe sizes and dynamics, which I found really interesting. And again, there was one on tile specification. Might sound a little bit boring, but it was actually really informative. So thank you to those presenters. They were great presentations and I think everybody took away a huge amount of information that they're able to impart in those short sessions. So how would I sum up Spartex 2023? Well, I think not a great deal of innovation, lots of great information, and certainly the big topic in the industry at the moment is running costs and how to keep those down. So hopefully you found this short video useful. As always, I appreciate the view. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.